Hello, type to here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a grainy textured background in Adobe Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've just created a new Photoshop document. And let's say we actually want to add a grainy textured effect to this background. We can do that in a few easy steps. So first of all, you want to create your background. And in this example, I'll just be using this blue background. So from here, we want to go over to our layers panel and select the layer we would like to use. Then right click on it and choose convert to smart object. Just like this. Now we are working non-destructive and that means that we can always go back and change things later. So from here, we want to go up to filter, noise and add noise. And this panel will now show up. Before you do anything else, you want to make sure that preview is on. So just select that so you can actually see the changes we are creating. And if we now look at our background, we can see that we have now added this grainy effect. And if we take the amount right here, we can choose how intense we want this effect to be. So if we take this, we can increase the noise. We can also decrease it. In the distribution down right here, we can choose if we want it to be uniform or Gaussian. And you can see the difference right here. Just choose whatever you would like to use. And I have also turned monochromatic on, and that means that there will be no color in our effect. So when I'm happy with the result, I can actually just press OK, and the effect is now active. And we have now created this grainy textured background. And let's say we want to change this. We can always do that because we created this into a smart object. So our effect is right here. And if you double click on this add noise, we will get this panel again, and we can just change it however we would like. And then press OK. And the changes has now been made. So yeah, that is actually how to create this grainy textured background in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Never so for now, see you in the next one.